Harry Potter. And the it's old E.T. ride that is still here and not in L.A. anymore. We haven't ridden it since we were children. Yeah, I don't think I've been to Universal Studios Florida maybe since I was eight. Oh, you've been here before? Yeah. Have you not been here before? Not, not until I was like in my twenties. Oh, okay. But yeah, this will be fun. It's like going back in time. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, that guy's crazy. Nothing has changed. It's exactly as I remember it. Yeah, it was so fun. Yeah, I liked it. Except that there are more people on the bikes now. Not yeah, you're not going one at a time. And we didn't really hear our names when you give them you know, your passport. But... Dude, Barney is alive and well. <laughs> it is. And wow. He's in Florida. Barney Theater. He came to retire in Florida. <laughs> Permanent residency. The field trip through the 90s continues. We're going on MIB alien attack. Yes, yes. MIB1. Oh, MIB1. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember what happens in MIB2 anyway. It's actually really cute and wholesome and there's even live performing inside. I like it. And if you watch the Jimmy Fallon show, there's lots of like nods to the show. We're riding the Rip Ride. What is it called? Rip Ride? Rocket Ride? Rocket Ride? Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood Rip Ride? Rocket Ride. Okay. And it looks terrifying. You go up vertically, like real slow, and there's a gigantic loop.
Hey guys. So maybe don't stay at the Swan and Dolphin <laughs> if you come to Disney World. They were very rude to us <laughs> at the uh, when we were checking in. They lost our luggage in the bell desk thing. When we called, they were rude to Christina. It's just been a whole thing. So I take that into consideration. Other than that, today's gonna be fun. We're going to Animal Kingdom. See that. On the bright side, they did give us a really big room because it was the last one available. So we have like a living room and the bedroom, and then we have two TVs. And two things. Give us exercise. Flight of passage is totally worth the two hour wait or whatever it was. So good. And she's the voice in the, in the line of the queue. It was amazing. Go write it. So we just had lunch at Tiffin's. Amazing. Chef Jim, you my man. He made the best. It was chicken, purple sweet potatoes, and Brussels sprouts, but it was cooked to perfection. He made a fried chicken without frying it, which I don't understand how that's possible. But, and it's also pretty under the radar. Like, we couldn't get a reservation at Yak and Yeti, but Tiffin's was wide open, so if you want a really good meal in the Animal Kingdom, go to Tiffin's. We're gonna go tell guest relations how great Chef Jim was. Chef Jim! Chef Jim! Disney got you. They got you. <laughs> Somehow's 